All right, guys, I'm still un unable to it says, see it says firmware upgrade required. Um, it says ready to go GPS. I'm going to try to fly it. Um, the firmware upgrade is on the controller. The drone itself, which is down here, and as you can see, I brought a little mat with me. That way it wasn't sitting on top of dirt. Uh, it says ready to go. So we're going to try to fly this. We're going to try to get some footage. Um, don't know why the controller won't upgrade. I've tried to do everything uh, everybody told me. Um, we're going to see if we can do down and out. Down and out will do it. And we are going to click the little icon here so we get a red. And we are going to record. We are going to go up. Here we go. This is where it's at. Had to have this controller. There's no point in having this drone if you don't got the controller. Unless you're going for that... Uh, unless you're really going for the what you call the smart flyability of this, but for myself, that was not the case. We're just gonna turn around this way. Right now, we are over water. I really shouldn't do. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, slightly. Uh, it should be. It shows it's pointing towards home. So we're going to put this up a little bit so I can see it. It's quite dark because uh, because of the sun behind me. So what we will do is we will turn this way, and we will just pitch this way. Oh yeah, that's clean video, man. That is clean video. Super clean. This is definitely what this needed. Definitely need this controller. I'm happy I was able to get over um, the little uh, won't let me fly without it. We're going to take it up a little bit. And I did not adjust my parameters, so I think it's only going to allow me to go up to like 40 meters, which is fine, I guess. Or no, maybe it takes it out with the controller. Maybe that's just on a cell phone. Just give a little pan around here. Generally don't fly in this area. Generally uh, I'm a lot further away from here. So we are going to stop recording. Go ahead and stop recording. We're gonna bring it down and we're gonna throw it in sport mode. We do have a sport mode. That's that toggle right there. This is a nice area to record in. And again, usually I'm never over here. I, I've actually never came over here on foot. I've never really had a reason to, but uh, with our little uh, UTV over here, which I do also have the wings land with me, um, it was able to do so. So I don't know if, uh, er, I don't know. We'll try it, see if it goes all buggy if I put it in sports mode right now. Nope, we are in sport, sports mode, maximum speed, braking distance, significant increase, S mode, 50 meters, okay, we're good. We are in sports mode. So what I wanna do is we're gonna take it up here and we're just gonna kinda of go straight out and then I'm gonna punch backwards. We're recording. Oh yeah, yeah, P pitch rate is significantly increased. We're just gonna punch backwards. <laughs> yeah, dude, that thing is super cool. Um, yeah, this is what it needs. If you're gonna if you're gonna get the spark, you better make sure uh, the controller is gonna work because if the controller don't work, what's the point in having it? Because um, you can't do this. Here, and there, it just showed a little bit of a break, and we're actually going to stop the video here. 
you can't do this with the controller. You can't fly like this with the controller. We'll get up close and personal here. Did it take, yep, took off the obstacle avoidance right there. Or no, it actually shows, but it's not blinking at me. Uh, on here, I don't know if you guys could see that. But yeah, that's a dope backdrop. Here, why don't we, uh, nope, don't. I was gonna say, why don't we turn our hat cam backwards, but then you guys won't be able to see it. But uh, here, let's see. We'll go ahead and uh, try to take a picture or two. Super cool drone, man. I'm happy that I got this, uh, and as you can see, it's bobbling a little bit. We have a little bit of wind. I'm happy I got this to override me being on the ground because I didn't update it. Uh, we're gonna switch back to our uh, record mode, and we still have, uh, let's see here, we're at 59% battery life. Why don't we go ahead and um, pan this way? And uh, we will uh, we'll fly over that way. So we are going to record, and bye-bye. Beast, dude. Beast mode. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. The braking is hard on it, so be aware if you're, if you're trying to film in this, you're going to get a heavy braking. Um, nice. I never got this image before. Um, super happy with this. Uh, super happy. It's just sitting up there, guys. We're going to go ahead and turn it around, face us, which now we are facing the pond. I can see it on the FPV. And right now we are facing the sun, which that's a nice sun pick there. Uh, that should be about me, I think. So we're going to go forward. Nah, not quite. It's actually going that way. This thing burns. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Everybody on YouTube that tried to help me out, everybody on Facebook that tried to help me out, I do appreciate you. And uh, thank you for all the suggestions. Somebody did... Uh, somebody did make it so I was able to do this uh, I uh, the controller was kind of connecting to it manually and I was even on service with uh, I was on customer service with DJI um, and uh, they didn't tell me any different one of the YouTube members told me how to manually connect this to uh, to the connect the controller to the drone and that kind of did it I had to do one or two other things to override the the update but bam as you can see we're here we're flying that's me bam spark is in the house I'm happy with it now um, I wasn't happy with it with before and this is such a cool looking drone you kind of got the mouth as the eye uh, not the eye ma mouth as the eye of the camera and then you have the obstacle avoidance uh, eye as a, like a unibrow type thing but here we'll show you Little rocking horse. That's extreme rocking horse, dude. <laughs> and then uh, we'll do a little side to side. Bam, 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 bam. This is a dope drone, guys. Excellent drone. Then we'll take it out of sports mode. Responsiveness is still good. It's a little more stable, though. So that's probably more for recording. And we'll show you the rocking horse. So you have a you have a really calm rocking horse on that. Um, super awesome we have 40 percent battery life i think this starts to tell me uh, uh low battery at about 30 percent there's all types of geese down there um why not let's let's go have a peek and uh we're not really going down to scare them or anything and hopefully they don't fly into the freaking uh camera going down gonna kind of sit there actually I can't even see it so we are uh, we're gonna bring it back we're gonna go up okay now I can see it this thing's so small so uh, you're either flying FPV with this or um, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be having a hard time seeing it my eyesight's really well but uh, again this thing's pretty small and I'm trying to think uh, not really sure wait maybe like that 
bam that's how you adjust the okay that's how you adjust the gimbal setting up there so that's really cool and I don't want to bother those geese anymore low battery warning we're gonna try to put it down right here and we'll stop our recording that's the whole reason I brought that map out Ma map yeah that's a map this whole reason I brought the mat out is so I could have a softer landing instead of being on top of rocks. So let's see if we could do this here. We got two rocks to avoid, holding down either side. Damn. <laughs> That's a good landing, guys. Dude. Everybody, I'm happy with this now. I appreciate all the help with it. This is the spark, and we will go ahead and get our wings land out and fly that.